Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Cam Star C. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States. Today we're going to do a video for the new guys. You might have just got this. Maybe you haven't flown RC before and this is your first flight experience. So one of the things we wanted to relay to you guys is that during the first couple weeks is probably going to be the most um, crashes and bumps and uh, uh, crazy episodes flying into trees um, and, and whatever else you find in your yard or your neighbor's yard to hit, you, you might might do it. So um, one of the things we like to tell new guys is to remove the camera. So this will save you a little bit of money and in the long run it's going to teach you to be a better pilot as well because you're going to learn how to fly in line of sight first uh, with your copter rather than lying on FPV. FPV is usually something that pilots get into after they've been flying for a little while and they understand the mechanics of flight. So let's go through a few things now that are going to help you out in the first week with your copter and we'll show you how to remove that camera gimbal. Check it out. One tip that's really important before you get started is to get a smaller quad, maybe something like a Blade Nano or a Husband, and fly that around the house. Learn your different orientations. Uh, when you fly these, you won't be able to fly in GPS assisted flight. So you're gonna be flying in what we would consider like an Addy mode. It's gonna give you stabilization uh, all the way around on all axes, but it's not gonna give you um, a GPS hold or a lock. So you're gonna learn to fly this in uh, typically uh, a manual mode. So once you learn all the orientations with the small one, that's a, that's a good time to go ahead and think about getting a Phantom or something a little larger. Um, the next thing that we'd like to talk about is simulator. If you aren't familiar with RC simulators, probably uh, one of the best ones out there on the market right now is Real Flight 7.5. Uh, there's Phoenix RC and a bunch of other ones. So if you just Google RC flight simulator, you'll come up with a, a huge list of those. Uh, we, we highly recommend getting a lot of simulator time. Um, Real Flight is actually really cool because it does have an, an FPV version. You can fly hexacopters, octocopters. You can fly um, and move the camera gimbal while you're flying and see what your, your FPV sees. So very cool. It gives you a great simulated experience. Um, actually, one of our uh, favorite things on the Real Flight is that you can fly the little mini 250 uh, racer quad. So um, very hard to control the smaller ones without all the GPS assist and it'll teach you a lot about flying in, in environments with trees and fences and everything else to look out for. So uh, if you can do that, get a, an RC simulator. The other thing um, that you can do is on your cell phone or your iPad or whatever your tablet device is, go in the app store and search for RC simulator. There is some RC simulators in the store right now. Uh, Real Flight has a version of it. I think you have to buy their uh, different planes and things for 99 cents to $2 a plane or something. Um, but it is something that you can do in your spare time before your Phantom arrives. So try to, try to get acclimated with flying a little bit on those devices before your Phantom shows up. Okay, let's talk about the basics, but before we do, let's talk about how much money you're going to save if you take the camera off yourself and learn how to fly line of sight. Um, if it's a Vision Plus camera or the H3 3D, you're going to save yourself around $300 repair uh, and also some heartache waiting for it and some downtime to come back from DJI. So um, if you do remove the camera, that first couple days that you're flying, it's likely that you're going to probably have some sort of crash. You're probably going to whack a tree or a fence or maybe you just crash on the ground when you're first landing um, and you have a hard crash. So um, I've seen other people hit theirs on the sidewalk and just totally destroy a Vision Plus camera gimbal. So um, very important that you remove it for the first few days or, or around a week. If you can stand it, it's very important to learn how to fly line of sight without having to rely on FPV. If you don't rely on FPV, if you get in trouble, if GPS fails, um, you have much better chance flying it back line of sight and relying on your skills that you learned in the first few weeks, uh, learning how to fly in, in relativity to the copter 
and where you're standing versus looking at your iPad or your screen to bring it back. So once you have your camera gimbal off and you're out for the first day, you're going to be learning how to fly in line of sight like we talked about, LOS. And the way that single rotor pilots do it, single rotor helicopters, um, always fly tail in. So the battery will be facing you, you'll see the LEDs facing you, and that way everything is all relative to the sticks. So left is left and right is right, forward is forward and back is back. Now, once we learn how to fly and hover in front of you, you want to turn it to the right and turn it to the left and fly left in. Learn how to fly that backwards and forwards a little bit. Play around with your elevator backwards and forwards and then turn tail back in and do this for about a whole battery. Go side to you, go back to tail in go side to you, back to tail in, and keep doing that on both sides until you're really familiar. Fly back and forth a little bit and go back to tail in and keep it right in front of you. Don't let it fly out too far away from you. So you want to keep it in nice and close. Once you learn how to fly left and right, side to side, you can do what we call a nose in hover and this will be the camera, if it was there facing you, so it'll be facing you, uh, you'll see the red tape up front facing you. Now when this happens, when you fly like this, you're going to be nose in, so everything is going to be different. So left is right and right is left. Uh, forward is backwards and backwards is forward on your sticks. So everything is going to be flipped around. This is going to be something that you're going to have to practice quite a bit. If you get a little bit scared, just use your rudder spin it back around to tail in and everything will be back to right is right and left is left. So very important that you learn these different orientations. Uh, learn this in the first week that you're flying your copter and it's going to help you in the long run uh, be a better pilot. Okay, step one of removing your Vision Plus gimbal. You want to get your shears. Once you have your shears, there's a couple collars located on the bottom of the posts. Now the first one, we'll go ahead and do the first one in the front. So take your shear and snap it up close. You might have to do it on the other side as well, on both sides of the collar to loosen it up. Okay, so as you can see, that collar's off. This one's not going to be reusable, obviously, so once we have that collar off, turn the copter to the side, and there's one in the very back as well. And you have extras in your tool bag, so don't worry about snipping these off. It's going to save you a lot of money in the long run. You can snip this one twice. They're pretty hard to get off, so they're pretty hard to snip. Pretty thick plastic. Just got to get the right angle on it. Okay. Might want to wear safety glasses when you're doing this as well, because there might be some flying plastic. Okay, so the collars are off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the rubber grommets. So we'll go ahead and take off the ones in the front first, just by pulling down. That one will pop off. This one pops off. The one in the back pops off. And now the one in the very rear. So now, once you've removed these, make sure that you're supporting the ribbon cables as well. And I'm going to try to give you a shot of this so that you can see how these ribbon cables look here. Just going to come in a little bit closer. Okay, so the way this works is you have to take these off very, very gently. 
either with your fingernail. Um, I don't really suggest using a small screwdriver. Make sure that you don't sever the wires. Very delicate. So you can take your fingernail, get in there nice and tight, and it should pop right out. Don't put any pressure on the wire itself, as I said. And if you can, work one side and then the other, one side and then the other. Very gently. So now we have the second one out. And they're different sizes, so when you get them, when you go to put them back in, it's not going to be very difficult because, and you can't get them messed up because they're different sizes. Now this one has a little clip on it, so you have to push that little clip in with your fingernail and it will release. So now, the camera is off the bottom and we can set that to the side. So go ahead and keep your, your lock, your, your uh, camera lock and lens cover on and set that to the side. So we're good to go. Now we've taken this off. Now the next step is going to be to secure our ribbon cables underneath the copter. This is where your tape is going to come in handy. Take a good sized piece of tape. You can tuck them neatly together underneath. Put a piece of tape across and secure them down. So now your wires are nice and snug and out of the way when you fly. Just like that. Okay. Now go ahead and pull off the rubber grommets and put those to the side. Maybe put them in your tool bag. as well as your posts. Now, before you, you put down your, you tape down your uh, ribbon cables, you can use a screwdriver to remove the base plate and get this one out. If there's one that looks a little stuck, if it's not gonna come out, uh, one post, you can go ahead, there's four screw here, four screws, take these four screws off remove the base plate and take this final post out of the way. So go ahead and show you how to, how to do that real quick. Helps if you, when you do your work, do it on some sort of a surface where you know you're not gonna lose your screws. Magnetic screwdriver helps a lot. A lot of times we'll work with a towel underneath the copter so that if a screw does fall, it'll just hit the towel and not bounce off the table we're working on. Now we should be able to get that one post off. Okay, Just move it to the side, take that one post off. Okay, now we can put the screws back on. We'll tape these down and we're ready to fly without the camera. So when you're flying without the camera, don't worry about turning on the Wi-Fi box. That's not going to be needed because you're just going to be flying from line of sight. Very important also, as you can see on the bottom of our copter, we have our business card on there so that if it's found, if we do lose it, that we, our phone number is on there. So very important that you add your phone number on the bottom of your copter somehow. Um, very, very good tip for, for the new guys. And we got one last screw to put back on. Okay, so now we've taken off the camera gimbal and we put a piece of tape and secured our ribbon cables underneath the copter. We've got our reward if found card on there with our phone number and our name. 
so we're ready to go out and practice for the first time now. Take your existing parts, uh, your other additional gimbal pieces, and go ahead and put them inside the tool bag that came with your copter. Keep them all in there, set them to the side, and uh, now you can go fly. So that's it guys, that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy. Less than 10 minutes, we removed the gimbal off the Vision Plus and we set it to the side. So now we can fly without worrying um, that we're gonna tear up our, our expensive camera if we have a bump or a crash. The, the worst thing we're probably gonna do is maybe break a prop or two. Um, so no big deal there, you have extra props in the box. So most importantly, take your time, enjoy it. Learn how to fly. Um, using line of sight like we talked about, learn the flight characteristics and different flying conditions such as wind and weather, and uh, learn your different orientations. Um, front with the, or excuse me, uh, rear, and then side two, and then nose in, and work on forward flight after that. We didn't really mention forward flight too much, but uh, learn how to do your, your basics, uh, did basic circuits will really help you. So once you learn all of that, and all of this comes into play later on when you add the camera back on. If you lose camera signal back to your device, you're not totally relying on FPV to bring you back home because you did learn the basics of line of sight flying before you got into FPV. So most RC flyers out there learned how to fly with uh, visual orientation first before they got into FPV. FPV. So very important. Um, take your time, enjoy it. So thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. Please click subscribe.